Central on AWS is so far the easiest way to get started. There are only two requirements. First, you need an AWS account. Second, you need a domain to set a FQDN. The rest is quite easy as we have built an AMI image to get started. We start this tutorial in the AWS account and create a key pair. We will use this key pair later to connect using SSH. Once the keys are downloaded, we create a new security group. This is required for group ports, which we need to enable for the AMI-based central. We give the security group a name and a description, which is required, and set the inbound ports to 443, 80 and 22. For our demo, we need to enable port 22 from anywhere. For security reasons, you could later limit that to a dedicated IP if required. Now we launch a new EC2 instance. In the community AMI, you need to search for Central All-in-One. Although you could technically start by using a T2 Micro, which is free, we recommend a T2 Medium because of the RAM requirements. We need to select the dedicated security group we have created and also select the key pair we have created for Central. Launching the instance takes a while. While the instance launches, you can verify the security group entry to make sure Central will be available. We also need to note the public IP address for our EC2 instance. Now we need to switch to our domain DNS setup and create a FQDN with the public IP address we just noted. The final step is to ensure that the key pair is in your .ssh folder. The key has to have a .pem ending and you must change mod to 400. Now we are ready to connect via SSH with our key pair and bootstrap the central instance with a simple command. The command is ssh-i pass to the pem file ubuntu at your fqdn sudo home central app set fqdn.py your fqdn as the argument. This will create a valid TLS SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt for your central instance. If you like Let's Encrypt, don't forget to donate. Now we can already connect to our central instance. However, the instance is protected by HD access. You need to use test test to log in at first. The certificate will be fully valid to connect from OS Query and Santa as well as all browsers. To further protect access, we will change the HD access password. On your Mac, use HD password minus C pass the file and the username. And in this video, we just use Mac admin as the user. Enter the password. Then cat the file and copy the string. Now we edit the etc nginx central ht password file, replacing the existing line for test with your string. First, we ssh into the instance. Once we are logged in, 
we edit the ht password file. And here we replace the string. We just need to verify that our new login works. Enrolling clients to our central instance will be up in the following tutorial.